uh, Meridian, Mississippi, getting ready to shoot an awesome hot rod from the guys at Goldman's Customs that just went for the Sloniker Award. It was a finalist, but uh, I get to photograph it today, and so I'm pretty stoked to see it out in the sun for the first time. good right there. Leave the, turn the wheels, yeah. Go back that way just a hair. Perfect, right there. I'm Talbert Goldman with Mike Goldman Customs out of Meridian, Mississippi. Uh, this is Sonny and Debbie Freeman's 32 Ford out of Lafayette, Louisiana. It started out as a 32 Ford, three window coupe, uh, chop three, more like three and a half at the A pillar, uh, laid the A pillar back a couple degrees. Dan Baker out of um, Pennsylvania with Luma Craft Grills machined all of the windshield trim for us, kind of make it a little smaller, a little more modern. He did the same thing with the back glass. Um, this nice little hood trim for the, just finishes off the way the, the hood hinge works on the cowl and the grill shell. Um, we tried to modernize the roof a little bit and make it look like a, an original 32 Ford uh, roof insert, which would be vinyl, but we took and cut it out, sent it to a buddy of ours, and he cut that piece of glass. It's real glass, not acrylic. Um, we did a nice little trick to it like the modern vehicles have with the little dots like we did around the windshield. Um, custom built chassis we did here, um, narrowed it up and kind of, you know, channeled the body over the chassis. It's heights front independent and Kugel rear with a quick change center. Original hood sides would have that reveal on the bottom of them. And I hate when you take a hood side off of 32 Ford, it's just unfinished looking. So what we did, we just mimicked that into the, and grafted into the chassis and kind of goes up around the upper control arm. It just kind of finishes it off when the hood side's off. Um, grill shells chopped three, three quarters of an inch. Wheel wells raised up two and a half inches to accept the 22 with a lot of rubber under it. Uh, Mike Curtis cut the wheels 18 inch on the front. Let's see, 22 by 10s on the rear. Roush 427, bowl of stack, eight stack injection. I think it's right at 600 horsepower. Uh, Bowler transmission, it's a 6L, let's see, 4L80 behind that Roush 427. Uh, Paul Atkins out of Hansville, Alabama did the upholstery for us. Classic instruments, custom instrument, uh, custom gauges. I think Jesse Greening out of Coleman, Alabama cut that bezel for them. And then see Mike Curtis cut the wheel for us as well. Let's see, we made the rear window roll down. All right, and Dan Baker also cut the, uh, or built this, I think they call it a Pines grill insert for us. He always does a nice job. Dan's such an easy guy to work with. 
He also did, let's see, as I mentioned earlier, this trim around the back glass, you know, 32-4 didn't come with that, and that just kind of ties in with the front. So these tail lights he cut for us. He started with a 39 Chevrolet tail light can, and he cut this like Art Deco feel kind of bezel that goes around it and then machine that in acrylic. Just gives an Art Deco feel to it. Uh, it's a pretty cool deal. Uh, and the color, we call it just a mocha brown that we kind of come up with. Just dumping some stuff in there and finally got happy with it. Just a cool little car we built for Mr. Danny, uh, Mr. Sonny and Debbie Fre uh, Freeman, and we named it Blind Date because he had no idea what was going on with this car. All he knew is he bought a, four, a Roush 427 engine, and he threw it to us and said, build me a car around it. So that's his Blind Date.